Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Nomads. I'm the Radio Man 3 It is awesome to have you along. Welcome back. Ah, I have been pretty busy. Those of you who noticed that the room was getting pretty tight on Mark last episode, you're right. It was too tight. I could drive him in and out, but I mean, it was a snug fit where the wheels were actually scraping the edge of uh, uh, the posts. So what I did was I moved this wall out, I think, almost two blocks out. Uh, pretty good distance. So now you can see he's got plenty of room to get in and out of here. So we've got uh, we've got that taken care of. Other thing you might notice is I've got some diff something different on Mark, and that is a uranium generator. I put this on him. Um, I'm not too pleased. We're going to have to rebuild Mark. We're just going to have to. Uh, I'm not liking the fact that it sits off the side. This is a 2x3 um, cockpit. If I had to use a 3x3, three three, I think the uranium generator will fit better behind it, and then I can get my storage compartments the way I want along the sides. Right now, they're all kind of over on just the one side over here. So, yeah, I want to do something different with that because eventually what I want to do is I want to have a conveyor coming down from the ceiling so when we pull up with Mark, it'll just pull things out of him and put them where they need to be. That's kind of the idea there. Uh, what else have I done? We have the, the medium FAD food and drink machine, which has an electrolyte water in it. It also has a superfood, which is pretty awesome as well. So uh, we can make those two things. A superfood is really uh, super food. It's very super. Right now we're just eating just eating meat, but we've got plenty of stuff that we can uh, cook up inside here. Oh, I, I guess I did make some super foods. I did. I forgot I did that. Okay, so I made some super foods. Uh, we've got our power over here, but I have a power room outside. I'm going to show that to you in a second. Over here, I have the medium refinery. It's not hooked up to anything. I was just refining some uh, uranium. Eventually, I'm going to have this in the power room so that when we drop uranium off, it just goes in and, you know, takes care of the generators and keeps them full. Um, down here, I started playing with the conduit, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a... a our 3D printer, medium 3D printer here. I've got a bunch of crates behind it with the different supplies in it and stuff like that. And then, of course, uh, if I want to use the medium armory, I can do that. And the materials are already here. I can see what's going on, and it'll pull from those boxes back there over here when I need stuff. I upgraded us to the level 3 explorer suit, also the level 3 jetpack and the level three multi tools so we have all three of those things going for us now we can't go to level four because we need a couple of the ores in order to do that uh the super alloy mechanical parts and i believe this guy right here we can't even make those right now because we don't have a particular material that we need an ore uh yeah this stuff right here the xanite we don't have any xanite we need that in order to make it yeah, and that takes xanite too and cobalt so yeah wow that's going to take that. So, of course, this is not going to be here again. This is just temporary. I'm just getting a feel for how things work. This is not how this is going to be set up. Eventually, we're going to have a room where all this material is going to be, the 3D printer, all that stuff. So, we'll just uh, go up to the 3D printer, tell it what we want to make, and then we'll have a conveyor tube going out around here, and we'll be able to just build wherever we want to build, and the materials will be in there and coming to us instead of uh, us having to go back and forth. But right now, I'm not sure what I want to do. So, as I go along, we'll be moving things around and making changes okay so keep that in mind this is not set in stone right here this is just me kind of figuring out how things work okay so that takes care of this part right here uh yeah mark i think we might be rebuilding mark today i think we might we might out here let me turn my flashlight on this is going to be the power room i kept it pretty small it's not hooked up to power yet but we have a do have a door on this side right here so that's going to be our power room i th don't think i have a roof on here yet no, I don't. So, you know, that, that should be enough for a few generators to go in here. There's one more generator as well that runs on water. So I'm probably going to eventually switch over to that and use the water generators with a water pump uh, as what we're, we're going to be having for our, our power source, which is a, a, apparently the best power source there is. And if we have a water pump in here, it should be able to just pump the water in. We could probably put the pump out here, run a pipe inside here, and then just feed them full of uh, water. I think the water has to be... Uh, clean though i'm not sure we'll, we'll figure that out when we get there i'm not too concerned about it right now i uh, got busy on the second level uh 
You can see right now that we're going to be able to come out to the top floor here and then walk across to what's going to be a second building over on this side. What's going to be in the second building? Uh, probably our living quarters and things of that nature and the food and that sort of stuff. And I want to get into more. These are interior walls. I want to get more into these guys and kind of divide up this next chunk of base uh, with different rooms and doors and stuff like that. Maybe, well, I guess the doors have to be on there. They don't have an open door that you can do. Uh, but I guess we could skip a door and just put in uh, walls. Anyways, uh, I would want to do something like that right there uh, and, and get busy with some of those walls uh, in the future. Uh, I don't have these doors hooked up to power uh, just yet. Um, what else have I done? Well, you can see I've gone with a red and green scheme in here. This is our <laughs> our super fortress. And then this this block, this level, this number nine block that I put in this, the, just the regular square block, I turned that all black all the way around. So that takes care of that right there. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's take a sleep. We'll take a little jaunt on over to the uh, stasis chamber here. We'll just sleep for eight hours and... You are well rested. Thank you, Janet. And it's pouring down rain. It's pouring down rain. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to remake Mark. Uh, he's going to be very similar to the way he looks now. But in terms of how the how what is on his back looks, I don't like the way it is. So I feel like I need to start over and kind of rebuild him in the way that I've got him right now. But it'll be a new Mark. But it's the same old Mark. It'll be you know he'll have eyes and stuff like that. We'll, we'll keep him like that. But uh, this guy here, yeah. I just didn't like the way this turned out. It just doesn't have a real sexy look to it. The other one, you know, the batteries. I really like how the batteries look. They've got a really cool look to them. And they kind of add to that whole space feel to it. But some of this other stuff, I just... It, the way it laid out, it just doesn't give it that that feel to me anymore. So, uh, yeah, we're going to change it up. We're going to change it up. Uh, is it still raining? Oh, yeah. We're going to get a heat shield warning. Uh, I'll be back when it stops raining. Well, I took Mark apart, got all of his parts in my bag of tricks here, and I'm reworking him. We're going to take that off of there. Seems to me I typically get kicked out of the other side of just about any craft I'm in, it seems like. I get kicked out on this side the most. I'm going to put this over here instead. And I like it on there. That's why I put it on there. Uh, it's backward. It's not, it's not the right way. It's not the right way. We gotta get the right way here. Number seven. Uh, X. Nope. X. There we go. There we go. Just like that. There we go. Bingo. And so I'm, I'm gonna upgrade his wheels too. We're gonna use the buggy wheels instead of the regular uh, kind of industrial truck wheels. We're gonna use the buggy wheels. I thought those were pretty cool. I uh, hadn't tried those yet. And we've got a three by three uh, rounded cockpit in here as well. Let's go to build so I can show you what what I did here. Uh, I'm using this cockpit right here, the rounded cockpit, 3x3, three three, which is very nice. They do have one over here too, a 3x3, three three, but I thought this one looked kind of cool because it's rounded and because it's uh, a lot more glass. And then we've got the buggy wheel on here too. Regular suspension, we don't, we've not used the large suspension yet. And then we're using the regular searchlights, the front mount uh, on Mark as well. I'm just kind of fiddle around with the design for the front end. I mean, if you've got a horrible front end, the rest of it just doesn't work out too well. So I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do. Part of me was going to come out an extra block here. I'm also trying to think about, okay, what can I do to make Mark a little bit lighter? So he's not a bunch of, you know, too heavy. But I've not come up with any really good ideas on how to do that. I'm going to go like that right there and right here like this. And let's go to number four. Uh, we're going to have to X this. There we go. And like that. I want to bring it out a little bit more. Um, see, already I feel like the front end's getting a little too wide. I feel like our... Oh, man. It auto save just screwed me on that. Huh. That auto save, man. It comes on like that, and it just really... It causes a big old jump like that in the game. Now I gotta put that whole wheel back on again. Is that right? No, that wasn't. That's not what I had. I had. Uh, 
Gosh, now I can't remember what I had. I had that there, I think. And then number four? No. Oh, for Pete's sake. We'll come back to it. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that over there, too. Let's go ahead and... Mm. It's, it's tough, you know, because there's... You can have so much fun with this. It's really a, a fun process. Let's go to B for a second and get the basic blocks again. We've got this guy right here. Maybe this guy would be... Pretty good to have in this area here. Hmm. This is probably going to take me all day to build. Because <laughs> I just... You know, you, you, you fiddle around with the blocks. You just try to figure out what you like, what you don't like, and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Um, and we need a number three back here. Otherwise, this is going to fall off if I decide to do something different. Let's do that right there. Let's go T. Let's pick our color. Just click down on the scroll wheel for your for your color choice when you're painting. Okay, that's not too bad. But let's change this to black and change that one to black. And then we're going to take the headlights... Do you guys find yourself just kind of constantly doing this and just changing things up and making things look different? I really enjoy uh, this part of it very much. I've never been much of a shipbuilder, and that's what's kind of spooked me away from a lot of uh, space-type games. But I've got to say, I'm really, uh, really enjoying it right now. We could do that right there, or what we could do right here, too, is put the winch... Not that I've ever had to use the winch. Uh, but there is utility. Uh, there is a winch here somewhere. Uh, I believe this... No, that's the compact FAD. Winch. There it is, right there. Uh, yeah, let's try that out. That fits in there pretty nice. Yeah, that does. I like that. Okay, that's cool. Um... Front end's looking a little bit better now. I like that. I'm not so sure about this block right here, though. Let's go like this. Let's go number four. Like that. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go, like that. That's, I think, that's what I had. Let's see, let's go back to T. Let's get rid of this guy right here. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And then I think I put a number... Uh, let's, 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 let's fuse that in real quick. Is that going to be enough wheelbase on the side of the vehicle to keep it from rolling too easy? That's my biggest concern, is to keep it from rolling. And the way we had Mark set up, uh, he was not rolling. Oh, for, oh my God. There we go. Uh, 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 there. Let's see. Let's put a tire on here and take a look and see. That should work pretty good, I think, right there. That, that extension off of there should give him plenty of distance out to the side to keep from getting too, too wobbly left and right as you're driving. I think that works out pretty good there. Yeah, 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 I like that. Okay, I like that. I like these guys in the corner. Give it kind of a, a wing-type look to it a little bit there. Uh, let's go ahead and change these up to yellow, though. There we go. And this should be black. And the tire should be black. Actually, the tire, what I did was I did this color right here. This sort of a, kind of a, a gray color. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is black, and that is black right there. So we're going to go with that gray color right there. Uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna work for me right there, I think. So then I needed a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I need a number four here, and then underneath that number four, uh, underneath that four, I need just like that right there. And we're the wrong color. Nope, we wanted yellow. 
And then we needed another suspension. Hope you guys don't mind building Mark with me. I, I didn't do this last time because I, I just do really lack confidence in this aspect of things uh, when it comes to playing uh, these kinds of games. But uh, I find, like I said, this is really, really fun. Uh, there we go, T. And we want this to be the, the gray. Well, that's, that's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Okay. I almost feel like I need something underneath here. It's going to add more weight, but I feel like it, it'll look better if I have uh, these guys right underneath here. I think if I, if I come over here, I could probably hit this side. There we go. There we go. There we go. Like that. And then kind of a kind of a skid plate underneath here you know what I mean a skid plate for rocks and stuff and then we could also do a number five I think this will fit in here oh yeah there we go look at this look at this look what this is gonna do it's gonna round this out really nice here in a in kind of a way oh that looks better that looks better the headlights are not indented into the body, though. They're sticking out of the body. I think if I take that off of there and that off of there, I should be okay. Yeah, I can do that over here, too. And then we can come back with the headlights. It's kind of a shame, because the front end of the cockpit looks pretty nice. B, uh, energy. Uh, no, mobility. There we go. And these headlights right here. And I think we're... Yeah, we're done with the winch, for sure. Eight. There we go. The winch sitting out front a little bit. Headlight in the back. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's go back. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to B real quick. We've got a lot of these uh, sort of sharp jag edges going on right here. Let's grab this guy right here, and we're done with the headlights. Let's go to number eight. Let's put this guy up here. X. It's just, uh, I don't know if the autosave is happening or what it is, but it, uh, it's not wanting to, uh, behave exactly here. Oh, boy. Uh, no. Oh, jeez. Autosave, what are you doing? So I think instead of that, we're gonna do is we're gonna come with this guy right here. Let's go. Uh... Something like that, and then what we do? We have to do. We do have to come up with the color scheme. Something like that right there. Do that there and that there. Something to that effect right there. And then what we can come over here and we can go number five. And we can mimic what we did underneath. Up top here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, why not? That, that works. That works. Back to number five. And let's do this again. I'm going to do some of this with you today, and some of it I'm going to do on my own. <sighs> Not so sure about this top row here. Kind of blocks the whole cockpit, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't like that. We're going to hold off on that. We're going to hold off. I'll come back to it. I'll come back. Is it raining right now? No, it's not. Let's take a break from Mark. I wanted to show you guys something real quick. Uh, I've taken your advice and got a miner going. And it's really um, cool. This, By the way, the uh, Tier 3 jetpack, we can fly a long, long ways. And we can run quite a distance as well. This guy is amazing. So we've got it on a bio generator. What do I got for power? It's got 25 hours in here. This guy right here. But then again, it's off. So what I've got it doing is I've got it picking up carbon and iron out of here. And I mean, it is... 
an unbelievable amount of stuff. If you look inside the miner itself, this is, oh wow, it's back up to 36%. Wait a minute. When I got done the other day, it said it was at 33%. This is back up to 36%. So you can see it's just pulling it in. What I did was there was that iron uh, spire of like music out here, that little chime thing it does. I just took it down and then I drilled underneath it, found where the vein was, put this on top of it, put a crate on top of it and ran it to a biogenerator. And it's been out here for, I don't know, I don't know how long, but I've not had to go get carbon and iron in in a, in a coon's age not a coon's age ladies and gentlemen it has been i haven't had to do anything iron or carbon related for a very long time now i did fly out north uh to get cobalt i did have to go out north for that um and i'll show you that on the map in just a second let's throw all this in here but yeah we got carbon for days out there it's just fantastic uh let's throw that in there that in there too there we go uh you can also see by uh the way our 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 inventory has increased by, what do I want to say here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 11 slots. Maybe not. It may be just these guys right here. Uh, I think it's just these four, six more slots. So our inventory jumped up with the uh, uh, level three stuff, which was really cool. Very, very cool. <sighs> oh, Mark, we got to get you back together today, buddy. And we got to take you for a test spin as well. I'm just not quite sure which route I'm going to go with him just yet. I like I, I like how the front end's coming together. This is good. This is good. I don't think I want to put anything on top of that. The thing I'm having trouble with is the uh, storage containers. Uh, these number sixes. Uh, we're going to want these on the side in order to, of course, hold things. But I think I would rather have them back along here is where I want them. So can I... Can I put attach any can I attach anything to this right here? I can't attach anything to the uranium generator. It has to come from over here. If I take this off, am I gonna lose all of my I don't think so. Oh thank God. <laughs> Four. I wanna do this right here and I want to uh Trying to keep it, like I said, a little bit lighter. We've already got the generator on here, so that's heavier than the batteries are. But if we do something like this right here, let's put that together. I always like to put it together, then I can kind of see it like so. Now, if I take any of these off, it's just going to collapse on me. What if I do some sort of an oh, an undercarriage? But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that either. Number three. Can I attach to right, right here? Can I attach to that right there? No, I sure can't. I can here, though. But that kind of gets rid of our clearance. You know, that's what I'm kind of going for is this kind of a higher clearance type thing going on here. That's the thing about the uranium generator. I mean, I could move it up, but uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want it sticking above the cab. I want the above... Uh, up here, we're going to have some... Uh, that uh, conduit, that conveyor stuff going across the top here so we can meet up with a pipe in the ceiling to pump things out of here. So I'm really enjoying the puzzle aspect of this right now. Oh, you know what? Maybe what we could do here is like this. Okay, so we leave that guy right there. And then we come in here like so... Uh, let's get back to T. We need that one right there. We have to have that one right there. So that's the undercarriage. Let's let's leave that guy right there. Uh, come back to here. Like that. Uh, okay, I think this is going to work better here. Hmm. I'm going to need my second tire right about here. So we need a number three. Here and here.
No, 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 no. There we go. Bear with me. Still getting the feel for everything. Which, by the way, is tons of fun. Uh... No, this needs to spin this way. There we go. There we go. Auto save. Uh... Yeah, I need that block right there. I do need this one right here. This will this will be okay for the undercarriage right here because it's it's got a nice slope to it, so it should be okay. Um, let's go with our suspension. What? what uh, obviously, I've got this the wrong way. There we go. There we go. I'm not close enough. Okay, that's one. And then... Oh, God, I'm trying to remember how many blocks back I had to go before I needed another one. Um... I'm going to say... Three was how many I went back on Mark before. I'm trying in my best to mimic Mark as much as I can from before. Granted, he's not going to be the same, but uh, I really did. Uh, I loved him. <laughs> but he wasn't looking very good with that. Uh, yeah, we got that going on there, but I don't think that... I think I've got to go one more here with this. At least one more. In order to keep these wheels from rubbing together. If they rub together, they don't seem to go very well. Like that. And then number four. Number nine. And that's on wrong. Let's see if this is the correct distance. Yes. Yeah, the two in the back is a little bit closer than the one on the front. Okay, so now we have we have our basic shell going on here. Oh man, this is awesome. Love this. Okay. Uh, also, what I'm going to do here now, I've got an idea. Let's go number four. I'm going to spin this around. Cancel that. Let's put this one together. And let's go back to number four, our ramp. And this time we're going to come across this way with it. I'm trying to think of, okay, what am I going to set the, sh the crates on? I want something right about this level right here, so I can take crates. Uh, let's X that. I want to put three on each side, so we have six. Six total. So three on each side. And then off the back of this, what I can do is I can run a conduit pipe off the back of this last one here, up over the top, and meet up here in the center, and then we can meet up with the conveyor coming down from the ceiling, if you know what I mean. That's what I want to do there. You know what? Give me a few minutes, or, or a second, <laughs> and then I'll come back, but I'm going to kind of work out the rest of my head. Uh, I'm feeling like I'm trying to rush myself, and I want to really make sure I, I do a nice job here with Mark, so I'll be right back. Well, there he is. Uh, 
We've got storage on his back over here. We've got the uranium generator running down the middle, which looks pretty cool with the lights and stuff on it. Uh, there's our <coughs> our cab. We've got the winch and the headlights on the front. Oh, speaking of which, I did not hook up the headlights. Uh, what I did in the back here, let's go on down. I'll show you. I'll show you the whole design that I've got going on here. Hopefully, Mark's going to be able to roll. We're going to knock him off this, <coughs> excuse me, off this jack and take him for a little ride and see how he does. Uh, I don't think we're going to get up probably even to 30 with him, but, you know, that's okay. I don't want to go too fast on him because then I'll get in trouble. Uh, so I put four storage compartments on this side. They're stacked so they see each other with their ports. And then I've got the uh, conduit or the conveyors coming out of the top of that. Also, on this side, we've got four more. So we've got a total of eight storage containers. And then let me go up on top so you guys can see the conveyor. Oh, it's raining outside, as you can tell. Uh, the conveyors come up and across and down in, come over here, and we got a T-section on that end and a T-section on this end that they meet up. This guy I cannot build. We need quantum electronics. And as we talked about in the first part of the episode, we have to go out and find that particular ore. There's, I think there's two ores left that we've not located yet. And I'm, I've gone north a little bit. Let's, I'm just going to show you the map. I went north up to here. And this is the lake, by the way. The lake that we're, camp we're building next to actually encompasses all of this right here. It's a huge lake. So I flew over the top of it and landed, and there was a snow biome up there that did have some cobalt on it, uh, along with silver, uh, gold, aluminum, uh, uranium, all that good stuff was up in here. Real rough terrain, not something that I would probably drive Mark up to to get to because it would take a long time. But flying over the water... Uh, worked pretty fast. I'll take you up on the roof. The flyer's sitting up on the roof right now. I built a, a new one. Um, it's nothing, nothing fancy. But again, I don't know if I mentioned it, the one and only. He left a message uh, on the first ep the episode that we were building that very first flyer. He left directions on how to do the fan blades, the air blades. It was exactly what I needed. And now it just makes complete and total sense to me. So I want to thank the one and only for sure for helping me out with that. Um, but this is the map so far. Uh, you can see we've got a wreck over here we need to find, we've, which we've located uh, since coming to this area here. Uh, this guy here, I could have sworn we went and looked at him already. Monument, yeah, we went and looked at him, but we, I must have missed something there, so I'll have to go back. And then we've got this one up here now. We've got a wreck that's in a temperate tundra, so that's the snow. Uh, you haven't missed much with the snow biome. It's just some hilly areas with snow on it, but I'll take you there eventually. I will take you there. Uh, so that's that's what the map looks like right now. We've got a few things located. Also, in your build menu, there is a... Let's go to all. There is a satellite, a radar that you can build. Again, quantum electronics are needed. I think that's quantum elect... No, it's not. No, we don't need those. That's just the conveyor connector up there still showing. The radar, we can build it, and it actually shows you a two-kilometer radius around where it is doing its spin. So we could put one of those up on the roof for a little bit and see if there's anything else around here that we've not located yet or I've gotten close to that shows up on the map. So that's another thing we can do, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I can't build this guy. So the idea is, is we pull Mark in here and we're going to have this guy on his roof and then we'll have a pipe coming down from the top. And as long as this conveyor connector is close to another conveyor connector, it will send materials through. So it should work out pretty good. And we don't have to worry about a pipe coming down from the ceiling because it's not going to be in anything's way. And this doesn't protrude too much up from Mark, so he looks pretty good. I'm happy with how Mark looks. I am. I think he looks pretty good. So let's take him off of here. I have all the suspension set to uh, hard. Wow, he didn't, he, didn't even, he didn't budge at all, did he? He did not budge at all. Uh, he's turned on right now. Let's go to C. Let's grab this switch right here. And I believe what I can do is I can just come up to the headlights here. I can go boom, 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 like this. Now, can I come up here? I can switch these on and off. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. And I turn the winch off, too, so it's not using any power. Oh, sweet mama. That's nice. I like that. Let's take a look at the back side of Mark. I thought I'd leave it open so that you could see the uranium generator's green glow from the back side of it. But yeah, we've got kind of a bit of a comp compartment over the top of him to uh, hold the containers. And then we've got some undercarriage as well. I have support beams coming across to the tires and across the tires here, and then, of course, underneath the front end as well. Let's, uh, let's see if we can take a little ride. 
By the way, if you didn't know it, you can use Alt and the scroll wheel to move yourself in and out from the vehicle. Is everything hooked up and ready to go? We are hooked up and ready to go. Nice. There we go. Right, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and turn the headlights on. Let's do it. Since we're out in the dark. There we go, and back in the cab. Beautiful. I don't have the steering set up right in the front. Looks like I'm missing this tire right here. I thought I could have sworn I got that. Let's go tab. Okay, this is the... We need the forward motion on this one here. That should be good. Hmm. I've got one wheel turning. The other one is not turning. Why would this one not be turning? Is it not put together all the way, possibly? That's good. Correct direction. I have no idea if that's right. That is so strange. Why is this one moving and the other one is not? What do I have this one set to? I know. It's one of those things, you guys. Uh, let's go tab. They're both identical. Oh, it's not powered. Got it. Uh, thought I hit all these when I went around, but maybe I missed one. There we go. That should work. All right. Well, it's still not turning. I am not sure what was going on there, but I backed it back into the garage, took off the tire and the uh, suspension, and uh, just redid it. And it seems to work just fine now. As a matter of fact, let me check it and make sure I've got this actually on the hard suspension. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Alright, that works. Look at this guy. Look at this. Already filled up again. It's a ridiculous amount of ores coming out of this thing. It's just amazing. Matter of fact, I could probably turn this off for a while and save it until I need it again. So let's, uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna turn it off because I, I can't even take the stuff out of here as fast as it's, it's like coming in like crazy. Uh, inventory. All. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I'm full already, so let's go ahead and, uh, turn this guy off. I've got so much ore in here right now that it's just crazy. Not complaining, though. It's nice to have it. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, and eventually we'll just be able to, you know, pump this stuff right into the base. It's gonna be pretty nice. So let's take Mark out for a little bit of a ride here and see. So he seems to be... I've, I've also got the tires set to power instead of speed. So we've got the power. One uphill and stuff like that. Nutrition level dropping. Uh, I'm okay, Janet. Thank you. Oh, there's something else I gotta show you guys. Let's come up on this hill here real quick. also made a pulse defense rifle <laughs> so I think if I go Q yeah there it is so let's go back to uh, first person looks like it works pretty dang fast 
Can I take all this? Yeah, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff out of this. So let's go try it on one of these guys over here. It just runs on batteries. There we go. Yeah, I forgot he throws rocks. <laughs> I totally forgot he throws rocks. So I went through three batteries to kill him. Not so fancy. And then you just hit Q to, uh, no, H to holster it. And then Q. That's still the pulse rifle. There we go, I hit T and I get my, my work tool back out again. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we could throw that in here, too. What do we got? There's some of this, some of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, some more meat. Really, only one only one fruitage off of that nest. I thought we would get more off of that, but I guess not. So that's the pulse rifle. I don't know if we can upgrade that. We probably can. I don't know yet, though. I've not really seen. Uh, B. Let's, let's get on the outside of it so you guys can see. I put up another generator. Like, here's here's a, here's a for instance right here. This guy right here, that's... Um, I want to say this is silicon. Yeah, that's silicon. So if you drill right here and find the vein of ore and then stick your uh, uh, miner on it and just power it, It'll just pull up silicon. You can pick what it is. I, I've, I've planted two more of those mines somewhere. Those auto miners. I just have to remember where I put them. I know, I should have marked them, but I didn't. I didn't go too far from home because I wanted to stay close. It's gonna be back in here somewhere. This is about the, this is the one direction I keep going each time I head out. I tend to come this way. I'll find them eventually. Yeah, I can't even remember what I set them up for either. I think one was set up for silicon and one was set up for, um, I don't know. I don't know. Can you make it up this hill, Mark? Hmm. He's a little heavy, huh? You're gonna go up a hill, you gotta be committed to it. Oh my. He's a little heavy. Now, let me ask you this, guys. What would I do to improve uh, this sort of a situation right here where he just can't get up a hill? What do I do to give him more power so he can do that? Probably have to take some of the weight off, huh? Here's one of those nether nodes right here we could use. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did with the other generators. Yeah, that's kind of foolish. I should have put a marker on them. A beacon of some sort, but I'm not too concerned about it. They're here somewhere in this general area, so I'll bump into them again. But uh, Mark runs. He's just not as fast as he was before, and he's not as powerful either. He does move a lot slower, and the hills are causing him some trouble, so I've probably got a little too much weight on him. But if you guys could tell me if there's any way I can boost his power, that would be great, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But so far, I mean, he's all right. Hills, I kind of expect him to slow down. Not completely stop, though. I want him to get up the hills. If it does, I don't care if it takes him a little while to get up the hill. Just as long as he can get up it. There's a baby.
The generator alone, I think, weighs quite a bit more. Some of these nodes are starting to come back out here, too. These were all gone because I took all of them. But they are starting to come back. Little bouncy dudes. Just take a little drive out here, show you guys the, the nearby location of where we're, we're building at. Um, yeah, that's... That's about it. That's that's our spot. This is our locale. Very forested. Plenty of everything around for sure. Next episode though. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we'll just take the tree with us. Come hither, tree. Oh. Ah, look out. Extreme temperature warning. Uh, I'll get inside just a second, Janet. We've got a we got a problem tree here. There we go. Back home. I see it right over here. I also want to fiddle around with hopefully the uh, kind of the hitches. There's hitches on here too that you can put on to uh, give the vehicle even more freedom. So that'll be kind of cool. I think Mark is a little bit wider base than he was before as well. But that's okay. We're here to uh, upgrade, right? He fits in here just fine though. So right there, bam. So let's say we've got a conveyor up on the ceiling there. It's going to work out just perfect for us. Not a very perfect uh, straight park job here, but whatever. Boom. There we go. All right. There it is. The brand new Mark. Uh, let me know what you guys know about the, uh, the power situation. Maybe the next generator gives better power. I don't know. The deuterium generator. And let's check this guy over here real quick again. There's the pulse rifle. No, that's not the pulse rifle. This is the pulse rifle right here. I don't see an upgrade for that. There is, however, an oxygen tank that we can put on our, our suit to allow underwater exp allows prolonged underwater exploration. That's kind of interesting. That tells me there may be something underwater that we've not seen yet. And there is a multi-4 tool right now, too, but you can see we need that. We need that ore. So we're going to have to go south and figure that out. Uh, I'm going to record the next episode right after this one, so I've got a couple for the week. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and say adios, muchachos, at this point in time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back. I'm going to come back, and we'll look at the flyer I built this last time. I've got some solar panels up on it. I'm kind of curious to see if it's charging or not, because I've never used the solar panels before. So that's coming up in the next episode. And then I'm hoping we can take a trip south to see if we can find a desert to find some of these ores that we've not located yet. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.